Hey guys, it's 7.30 in the fucking morning, and what a better way to start off my morning than with some heart palpitations. And what a better way to get some heart palpitations than with this brand new game that just came out last night, Scott Cawthon's very own FNAF in Space. I'm not actually sure why we have this. Like, there's- maybe it's because I haven't come across a situation where I would use this practically, but seems a little useless to me. I mean, unless I wanna- unless I wanna act like I'm just gonna, like, throw up or something and just go- oh! Oh! Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, we gotta restart the generator. We can see that it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I guess depending on where we use it, we grow an inch or two. Engaging hostile life form. Hey, buddy, Attempting how you human. doing? You how you doing? How human. about we just fuck off? I'm gonna beat the fucking semen, jizz, splooge, man, bazooka juice out of you. Take your charge pack. Up. Oh. I guess I have enough of those. Might as well turn this off while I'm at it. Alright, let's see. What else we got? What's over here? Bunch of incomprehensible scribble. Oh! There we go. There's a proper use for it. To get a better look at utter scribbles. I'm not actually sure why a security system would have this grid on it. It would you you'd think having that kind of grid on the camera systems would you know, be more of a help to the people trying to sneak past than a hindrance. But I guess if it wasn't there... Well, no, you could still have, like, the fucking light on the camera without the grid, and people would still get the idea, so... I don't know, maybe, it just, maybe it's just trying to add to the whole retro future ordeal. Now, what really confuses me is why an emergency panel like this would be made out of such heavy-ass metal. Let's so look at this. Yeah, look at that. Look how fucking thick- look how- look how thick that metal is. Why the fuck would an emergency little exit way be made out of such thick-ass metal? Why is my- oh. For some reason you have limited batteries. Not battery life, just batteries. And if you use up a battery you have to reload by pressing Y. Or triangle, or whatever it is you use to turn on the battery. Oh boy. Do we have- oh, okay, we're good. Because we have... Is someone present? Boy, this boy over here. An EMP bomb. By all, by all means, let it require your attention. I got a present for you. A little EMP bomb. So I can... Why not ask me about my Mojave style dry clunge? Oh boy, he's got the scent, he's on the hunt. <laughs> he wants it now. The thing about orange suited working Joes, however, is that they're almost impervious to everything. I think you gotta like use an entire an entire tube of shotgun shells just to knock them down. Now, we have 
their kryptonite, a bolt gun, and some bolts. Okay, so we got here the good old weaponized tool. And we're gonna go back to that. He's gonna walk through that door. We're gonna give him peace of our mind. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hostile sensor reading. Walk this detected. motherfucker. And I think that's the main. I think that's the main problem with this game. It's a wonderful game for a survival horror. I've certainly played this a lot more than Outlast, but that's mainly being an alien enthusiast. But the second you get like the good guns, like this bad boy right here and the flamethrower, it kind of loses its scary factor unless you run out of ammo. But if you know how to preserve your ammo proper, and if you're a good shot, it's not really scary anymore. Still fun, but it kind of turns into just a survival instead of a survival horror. I want to take a tour of my reactor. <laughs> my babies no I don't have to just use this oh fuck I just realized how fucking skinny Ripley's forearms are look at that eat a sandwich you're not healthy go get a burger you're not a thick bitch Damn, through here Ugh. and even if it's not scary anymore being an alien enthusiast little details like that I could still vastly appreciate so here is the Xenomorph Nest. This is my favorite part of the game. Because we get a nice, up-close look at a Xenomorph Nest. A fucking massive one, no less. And the last time we got one of, the, one of those, a nice look at a nest was in Colonial Marines, but for all intended purposes, that game doesn't exist. <laughs> we got a nice look at these boys. And just the biomechanical, like, natural, yet biomechanical structure of the- Structure of the- of the nest. It's got a very sound, very... sophisticated structure. Nice and ribbed. And we get a nice look at these eggs. They're gorgeous. The presence inside, not so much. They do make for nice lanterns, though. Ugh. Ugh. I forgot they pop. Fortunately, I don't think Xenomorphs spawn until you activate this core right here. So it actually lets people who would spurg out over something like this, like me, to take it in. Which is very much appreciated. Alright, we don't need that light on no more. Don't mind me. Oh, hey! Look at that dweeb. Did you see that dweeb? Oh boy. Oh no. What does that mean? I hear footsteps. I don't like it. Get me out of here! I don't like this no more! Radar is fucking useless down here. Which is not assuring in the slightest. Especially since there's more than one of them. Xenomorph, that is. I don't know whether it's how far underground we are. Underground, quote unquote. Or if it's like all this resin. 
By the way, that's what this is. A lot of people like to say it's like xenomorph shit. Like they 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 string these people up in like web webs of shit, but it's not. It's actually a it's a resin that naturally comes out of a xenomorph's mouth. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a bee. It's kind of like when the bees vomit up shit to make a beeswax for honeycombs or whatever. It's kind of what it's like. But it ain't shit, that's for sure. But I guess the color... The color isn't really helping it out here. Oh! Look at that fucking Dweebenheimer. What the hell did you just freaking say that is his name. That is your name! <laughs> I don't think he likes that name. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> he really doesn't like that name. I like how they managed to not cover up the lights with resin. You know, that's very convenient. Very courteous of them to not cover up any of the lights. Just, just in case someone happened to manage to get themselves down here. No! Fuck off! Go away, Dweebenheimer! Shoot! Okay, he went down the thing. Oh, but that was just one fuck, of them. Fuck, 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 oh! 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 Fucking hell. Son of a bitch. Okay. Hello again. Oh my god, why are they so aggressive? Oh my god, go away, Dweebenheimer. No one likes you. You are a walking, talking, innuendo. For pee pee. Okay. Thank fuck. What even with this? Disengage the lock. And overload the core. And save while I'm at it. Save! Thank you. Now to book it. Oh! Oh shit! I think I'm safe. I don't know. Oh. Either way, somebody's upset. Let's just leave and never come back. I am out of... Dweebin Heimer! Fuck off! Fuck off, Dweebin Heimer! I don't want what you're selling! Keep your eggs to yourself! You bitch! I don't want your eggs! What in the fuck? Oh. How the fuck does this happen? That's cool as shit. Well, not really. I think that's like the only. Oh, I just heard him spawn. <laughs> Whoa, easy. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Calm down there, tracker.